Hi, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's take a look at the new Google Play Console. Okay, so I'm coming to you today from my house, from my kitchen, right? I'm not on the road, I'm not in the office, but I had some stuff to do at home today, so so I'm here, right? So today what I wanted to do is talk about some of the, well, some of the big news, at least for me, is the new because I spend so much time in Google Play uh, Developer Console, and they, you know, yesterday they released the, you know, the new look and feel. And I don't know if it's been released globally or if it's just been, you know, you know, it's done by region. But this is when I start to notice it. You know, yesterday afternoon, just you know, go in there and start doing things. It's strange when this happens when you use the app stores a lot, and you you notice like almost immediately when they happen. Like last week, uh, iTunes uh, iTunes Connect made a change on Test Flight, and it was like literally that morning I was putting some test flight builds out for clients and then that afternoon I went to go <laughs> upload something else and said, oh yeah yeah that'll be ready in about you know 20 minutes and then you go and you thought well everything's different and you have to figure everything out really quickly because you told them you whatever so anyway so let's have a look at this uh, the new Google Play console you have a look at my screen here uh, it you know it a lot of things still look the same and a lot of things are different and I think one of the main things that they've done is because they've been adding so many good tools on the Google Play Console, uh, and some of them not so. Good. Well, I mean, actually, no, all of them add value. Any any tool adds value, you know, if you know how to use it properly. Uh, but you know, they've added so much that it started to get really cluttered. So a lot of these things are just sort of consolidating bits of information. So here you can see my my Google Play Console. You've got my my policy violation here at the top. And I think the only way I'm ever going to get rid of this thing is to actually fix the apps that it applies to. Uh, but uh, you know, some of them it applies. Some of them have policy violations that have actually been suspended right and I've, I have three suspended apps no I've, I have two suspended apps and they're really old so I can't actually fix them so I'm just always gonna have this policy violation there right you know unless I you know I, I don't know what to do maybe I should contact them but so everything here looks kind of the same over here on the left they've kind of, you know they've gotten rid of a lot of that stuff and just sort of grouped them together. So we've still got the all applications. We've got the game services here. Uh, and I uh, somebody asked me a question about um, actually it was iTunes Game Center yesterday. And I you know we we set up game services on a lot of our games, and I just I found it to be more trouble than it was worth. So even though and it you know it just slowed down the whole release process. So a lot of you know a lot of them we don't really do lately. I mean you can see there's not a lot of users on a lot of these things, and I still think a lot of my core users are not necessarily gamers. So when you know, when the app first opens up and it says log into your Google Play, you know give us your details, they're kind of like no, I don't know if I like that. So. Anyway, so you know, we don't do that so much. Uh, order management, I mean, order management was brought over, you know, months ago, so into Google Play, which is, it's nice having it here better than the, you know, when you had to go into Google Wallet and check things. Um, download reports, now this is something that's, that's kind of, you know, it's the financial reports were there before. Right, so you go in there and I say I want to download the CSV file. So like with me, my accountant needs the CSV files of, you know, so they could do the VAT MOS, uh, you know, so pay that for all the different regions and everything, which is apparently they complain about it because it's kind of like difficult for them. But this is where I could go in and do that. But we've got these these new ones here. We got crashes and A and R's. Uh, we've got reviews and we've got statistics. And for me, none of them show anything yet. And it might be because it's new. Maybe it's it gets updated daily or whatever. I don't really know what these are. Uh, my hope, I mean, the reviews is what what interests me the most because one of my big complaints about Google Play and iTunes is, you know, that if you have a lot of apps, and, and not even a lot, if you have like 10, you know, you have to keep track of how many reviews are being kept there so, they, so you can respond to them. Like in the past, before I, I had my team, it was me doing all of them, and I, you know, when we had like, you know, 20 or 30 apps, it was trying to keep track of how many reviews we had on each one so we could see if it went up by one. So like one of them has like 294 reviews. I'd have a spreadsheet of all the apps in the in the tallies so I could go through and update that each time. And then, you know, uh, you know so then that's what my, my uh, with Maribel on my team, that's what she does every day so we could find out, so we could respond to these reviews. Because before we started doing this, I would get people complaining about something. They would say like, oh, there's a virus in this or something, or they would just say something you know, inflammatory about the app, which you have to respond to immediately, or maybe even sometimes they say, this is terrible, what a ripoff, I want a refund. 
And we always say, you know, I always say, dude, I'll give you a refund. I'm sorry it didn't work for you. You know, calm down, right? But if you wait like a week or two weeks because you haven't seen it, then that's it never goes over well. So anyway, that would be hopefully that's what that that is. So hopefully that shows up something. Uh, if we go back to all applications. Now, if I go into one of these applications, a lot of things are, are, are still the same, but this, this, app, this app doesn't do very well, by the way. This is just the first on the list. It's one of my lesser performers. Uh, so, you know, we still got the same things over the left. You know, we got statistics, uh, you know, same as before. I don't see any new reports here, at least not none that I've noticed. Um, development tools, so this takes, you know, the crashes and ANRs, uh, deobfuscation files, which, is that, was that there before? It may have been. It may have actually been in, in another. Oh yeah, for ProGuard uh, services and APIs. So if you do the uh, IAPs and all that kind of stuff, and uh, 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 Firebase Cloud Messenger Diagnostics, which I don't think was there before. I'm not actually using Firebase Cloud Messenger yet. I'm um, still using. I'm still using Google Cloud Messenger and um, uh, APNS, the Apple uh, one. So uh, so I haven't actually started you know, that side yet. Release management. Same kind of thing as before. Like a few months ago, they they rolled it. They brought in this manage releases thing, and um, and I you know so on the 18th it was the last day you could use the APK tab, right? And I use it like up until the last day. It was like you have to pry it from my cold dead hands, right? So uh, and I use the manage releases uh, one uh, for an app that we we did. So I when I went to on on the trip to Oslo and I I didn't bring my laptop with me and it turns out one of the apps that I released uh just recently Korean Bubble Bath has like this huge bug in it, right? And I just released that out to everybody and didn't look at the reviews because there's no consolidated review things. I, if I had, I would have noticed it before and Maribel was ill or something and so we didn't really catch it before I left. And then so I had the whole week kind of reading all these emails and reviews saying, and, you know, it's we get this big error once we open it straight, you know, so, so as soon as I got back, I, I, I fixed it because it was such a simple fix and released it and went through manage releases rather than the APK and, and emailed everybody who had emailed me and said, okay, can you please try it again? There's an update. And some, you know, most everyone said, yes. Some people said it's still not working. And I said, well, you have to go to Google play. There's an update, you know, and then they, they said, no, it's still not working. And then I think, well, they don't know what they're talking about. And it turns out that the managed releases, what I've done is somehow I would released it to only 50% of the population. So 50% for like a, another week still had the, the, the bad one. We're still leaving bad reviews. So, and that's just, I mean, that's down to me not using it right. I was kind of in a hurry. Uh, and ultimately, I think all this managed release stuff, I, I'm such a, you know, I guess I just don't like change that much. Maybe it's because I'm getting older. I don't know what it is. But uh, that's, you know, ultimately, I think it's going to be better in the long run. So you could test out changes with like a, a smaller uh, group of people. Right. And the pre-launch report, this is something I, I've seen this and I don't know what it does yet. So, you know, I'll, I'll probably play around this, you know, with this uh, later on. Uh, we got the store present stuff. So, again, store listings, the pricing and distribution, all that kind of stuff there before. Uh, store listing experiments. I mean, we had experiments before, but it's nice that they put this a bit more prominently there to play around with it. Uh, content rating, in-app purchases, and sales. Now, sales is something I don't know what this is yet because I thought it was the uh, financial reports, but it's not because the financial reports are down here. And so far, I, I just haven't had a chance to play around with that yet. User acquisition. This part is really cool. Uh, well, I mean, it, it, but it's not new. I mean, we had user you know, acquisition reports before, promotions, optimization tips, all of that was there before, but they put it into one section. Um, one thing I've always wanted with user acquisition is just to know what keywords people were finding my app with. I mean, you can find, if I go into this, uh, I, I, I'm going into this and I know that this is not a very good app. I mean, in terms of downloads. So, yeah, I can see how many uh, visitors it's had, how many people actually installed it, which is a 13% conversion rate of a whopping 58 in the last week. So it's like not really good. And I can see what, where they've come from, but what would be really great is to be able to see what keywords they actually come in on. So, you know, and I, there may be reasons why they can't show you that. I know like with Google Analytics, you know, they, they've started to cut back on that because so many people were gaming the system. So anyway, and then you got the financial reports which is good if you go on a, you know, on an app by app basis to find out which one's making the most money. And then the user feedback, so you can see ratings, reviews analysis, uh, reviews, and then beta feedback if you're doing the, the beta releases. So ultimately, I think it's, it's all pretty good. I mean, there, there, there's a few things I would really like to see in the Google Play Console. Um, 
Uh, some of it does exist in Apple or in the iTunes Connect and some of it doesn't. Uh, my big one is I'd like to just see how much money I'm making each day, not per app. Yeah, like if I go into, if I go into the, um, if I go into order management and I download the CSV, so this is what I do every few weeks, I download the CSV and then I put it into like a, a pivot table so I can like see the the sales minus the uh, the Google's 30% per day, take out all the tax and all that kind of stuff, just so I can have like a running tally of how much has been made each day so I can have some progress reports. But it's, it's just so tedious, this kind of thing that they, they could tell you immediately the same way that, that iTunes Connect does. The second thing I'd really like to see on Google Play Console, like I said, is just the reviews. I want to see all the reviews in one place, and hopefully that report does that. You know, we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Uh, and then, and then third, I'd like to see the um, I'd like to see a bit more analytics about how people are actually finding my app, and that might be something that that's intentionally left off because people are gaming the system or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for today. I mean, if, let me know if you guys see it. Let me know what you guys think about this new, uh, this new look and feel. Ultimately, I think it's, I think it's a good thing. It cleans up the interface a bit, uh, and and but I don't see too much added that's new, uh, at least not yet. And uh, you know, I don't know. I think it, I think it's gonna be cool. I spend so much time in Google Play Console that any change is like you know, it's like rearranging the furniture in my house. Every time I come into it, it's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. So anyway. That's it for today. I will talk to you guys on Monday.